Okay, so in this question, uh, Angela wants to purchase carpeting for her living room, and the dimensions of her living room are 12 by 12 feet. If carpeting is sold by the square yard, determine how many square yards of carpeting she must, must purchase. The question like this, um, of course, we're dealing with two dimensions, right? It's essentially a square flo floor where each side is 12 feet. So it's 12 feet by 12 feet. So if we were to find the area of the square, what we would do is multiply 12 by 12 to get 144. But we also want to multiply feet by feet. And just as if you multiply x by x to get x squared, multiplying feet by feet gives you feet squared. And all that means literally is inside this square would fit 144 little square feet, right? A square foot might be down here about this size, right? One, two, three, yeah, it's about a twelfth of the length. Uh, and again, a square foot is just a square, all right? This is one square foot. You can write it like this with the exponent. It just means square foot. It's just a square where each side is a foot by a foot. And that makes sense if you think about it. So 12 in this direction and 12 in that direction will give you a total of 12, right? Um, 144, excuse me, square feet. 12 in each direction. So there's 12 in this row, again and again and again, row after row of 12 square feet. So let me just show you because I said the wrong thing there. This row, for example, pretends your first row would have one, two, oops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Pretending I drew that perfectly, right? That's 12 square feet. Layer after layer, do that 12 times, you get 144 square feet. That's the basic idea. And here they, they want us to convert to, to yards. Um, so the usual tendency is just to take this number and triple it because we think, oh, um, and here they say it, three feet is uh, one yard, so you'd either triple it or divide it by three. Common mistakes, right? Uh, but here, if th three feet is a yard, right, think about what would happen with square feet. It makes sense then that it takes nine square feet, nine square feet, to give you one, right, square yard. And the basic idea is that if you have a square yard, I'll draw that over here, it's a square where each length is one yard. So this is a yard one yard, and so is this. It's a yard by a yard. So that means what? Well, each yard is three feet. One, two, three. And so is it here. One, two, three. So if we draw a square foot, here's one square foot. Notice it doesn't look like a third of the total, and it's not. It's one ninth. All right, it takes nine square feet, three on this row, three on the next, and three up top to make one square yard. So that's our ratio right there. We have 144 square feet. We want to know x yards. What is it? All right? How many square yards? So we can set up a proportion or just solve this ratio. Uh, I'm going to solve this ratio. Uh, I know that 9 goes into 144 evenly. Why? Well, because 4 plus 4 plus 1 is 9. And when you sum up the digits of a number and you get a multiple of 9, 9 will go into that number. So it's just a matter of finding how many times 9 goes into 144 and multiplying one by that same amount to keep your ratio consistent or proportional. So if you're, if you're feeling stuck here, just multiply nine by numbers that you think might bring you close to 144. Let's just try 15, right? Nine times 10 is 90. Nine times five is 45. And that almost gets us there. 90 plus 45 is 135. And we have how many more to go? Well, nine more to go to get to 144. So it tells me that 15 is not, the amount of time to scale it up, but 16, one more nine, right? 16 groups of nine instead of 15. So I'm gonna multiply this by 16. That means I also multiply this by 16, the yardage. So here we have 16, oops, 16 square yards. And you could test that, right? Our ratio is every square yard you have, it's nine square feet. So if you have 16 square yards, multiply it by nine, right? And you'll get 144. All right, thanks.